All right, how's it going, YouTube? So, I spent some time um, writing down some notes. Um, this is a service manual that I bought. Like I said, if you really work on your car a lot, pick one of these up. But I was just going through here looking at like some specifications for different things, like the compression ratio, the spark plug gap, stuff like that, because I have some stuff coming in from Amazon, some tools. Uh, there's just extensions, which I had some before, but someone stole them from me, and then spark plug sockets. So I'm waiting for that stuff to come in from Amazon, and then I gotta go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone, whichever one has a compression tester that I can rent, rent that, and then I'm gonna come back, take all the spark plugs out, check them to make sure they're gapped correctly and like everything's good with them, and then I'm also gonna test the compression of each cylinder since I'm taking the spark plugs out anyway. So I got all this done, also, that if you hear a weird noise in the background, it's just uh, weed eating. So, if you're wondering what that is. But yeah, the only problem that I have to do is I have to figure out if it's a 5 point or 2.5 or a 2.4 liter. Which, as per this manual, the 2.4s don't look like they came out till like 2002. This is a 1999. So, I'm thinking it's probably a 2.5, but... Like I said, I need to double check. The engine doesn't say it on it, so it's kind of annoying. But I figured that's a simple thing to figure out. And once I figure that out, I can double check all these. Once I get all this stuff kind of made sure everything's accurate, and then I get the tools in, I'll head to the garage and start working on it. Um, hopefully, the tools come in like decently early. I ordered them yesterday, but I they have like one day shipping, so they said they were supposed to come in today. But like I said, I don't know if it's supposed to come this morning, this afternoon. Like, I don't really know what time they're going to show up. But as soon as they show up, I'll be in the garage. And uh, I can go ahead and get this compression test going and um, get everything situated. How's it going? I know I just said that um, I would be out in the garage when you next see this. But this is just a short video. I want to show you kind of what I got from Amazon real quick. Um, if you want to skip past this, I'll just put a timestamp like right here or something and you can <laughs> skip past this and feel free to go on to me actually working on the Jeep. But I just wanted to show what I got from Amazon real quick. Also, I got a haircut. It's been, it's now seven in, at night and the first part of this video was eight this morning, but I went and I bought from Amazon these little adapters. So this one is a half inch drive down here and three eighths up here. This one's the opposite. So it's three eighths there and half inch there. Um, and then this is a one fourth to three eighths and then this is a three eighths to one fourth. And the reason I bought this is because, well, actually I'll talk about this. This is a five piece spark plug socket set, which if I'm not mistaken, I think this middle one is the one that is on the Jeep. But I got five because this is only $18 this was like 10 this was 18 and I think this red thing down here is 18 too but it comes with this nice little carrier and everything and five sockets which I think is perfect and I'm hoping that they work really well I rarely use spark plug sockets but I figured having five would be really nice for like any problem that I might have or any size spark plug that I might need like I said I think it's the middle one but when I get out of the garage I'll figure it out but the main beaut that I think is this. So this is a nine piece extension set. It was $18. I don't know how good they're gonna be because it's $18, but it's a nine piece extension set. And so I don't know the exact details of like the length because they're in millimeters and I don't know millimeters. Actually, it says on the thing. So for the one fourth inch drive, the quarter inch drive, there is a two inch, four inch, and a six inch, which is, I don't know the conversions. I'll try to put that. For the three eighths inch, there is a three inch, six inch, and 10 inch. And then for the half inch, there is a three inch, a five inch, and a 10 inch. So like a total drive that you can extend the quarter inch drive is 12 inches. The total you can extend the three eighths inch drive is 19 and then the half inch drive is 18 and they're just black extensions for 
um, sockets. They're also impact um, rated, so you can use them impact. Um, I'll link them to the in the description if I remember. I'm hoping that I do, but I'll link all this stuff in the description because honestly, for 18 bucks, this is a I haven't used it yet, but as long as it works out pretty well for 18 bucks, this is a hell of a set. It even comes with this nice box and everything. Um, I had extensions previously, but they got stolen from me. So <laughs> I had to buy new ones, which I'm actually not mad about because I only had three or four and they were all three eighths inch drive. But this is all of an assortment, which is awesome. Um, and the reason I got these is because the sockets are three eighths inch drive. However, my torque wrench is a half inch drive. So then what I can do is I can take the half inch to three eighths one and I can put the half inch torque wrench in here and then the three eighths inch drive. I know that the torque is gonna be a little off and everything just because of how it is, but it's closer than if I were to just try it out. And plus this, these four um, things were only like nine, 10 bucks or something, maybe a little bit more but these are also impact resistant uh, these and the extensions are impact resistant these are not which i don't think you should pull out a spark plug with an impact anyway but they're not but i do think it's cool how this all comes together with the carrier and these all come together together with a little case these are all just thrown about but i wish they came with a case but i think it'd be a little hard considering that they're all different drives but I can probably get one of these for it, um, a little uh, socket rail, um, and I can just get that and throw them on there. But with them being all different drives, because there's two three-eighths and then a half and a quarter, so it'd be a little weird to get it all together, but I think I could get it all together. But yeah, I know that was a <laughs> long five minutes or so. Let's see. Yeah, five minutes add on to the video but I just want to show other stuff like I said there's a timestamp if you want to actually see me working on the Jeep um, but yeah so I'm gonna end this little portion and then I'll see you now I will actually see you in the garage to work on the Jeep so uh, yeah all right I'm in the garage now um, after I showed you all those tools so I went ahead and went to AutoZone and I got the compression tool um, I rented it. I'm hoping it only has two adapters, like one adapter or something. So I'm hoping that it fits the thread. If it, if it doesn't, then you won't see this video. So <laughs> it'll be all right. But I got to move the Jeep backwards because there's not a lot of space. Um, so I'm going to move it backwards and then I'm going to put the camera down and start working on getting all these compression checks and everything done. So I will see you when I'm done with all the compression checks.
It's been a, a few days since I actually did the test that you saw and everything. Also, the camera cut off uh, the end of it. Like, that whole time elapse was only me doing the, like, first two cylinders or so, and there's four. But my results are a little annoying. The first cylinder, the initial compression test was 135 which is supposed to be 155 but I mean it has 114,000 miles so compression's probably going to be a little low I didn't expect it to be perfect but it's about 135 drop some oil in the cylinder it goes up to about 140 not bad the second cylinder was by far the best cylinder it was uh so I did it was the, first, the cylinder I did at first and I did it wrong at first I kept reading 140 at first because I forgot to hold down the throttle. Once I held down the throttle, it uh, it went to 150. So I did it wrong. But five short, but like I said, that's the best one and everything. Put a little oil in it, it goes up to 170. So that cylinder was pretty good. So the third cylinder, um, it was 135. Um, I put oil in it, but I forgot to write it down. I think it only went up to like 140 or, or so. It wasn't very good. The fourth cylinder was 135 as well, but I did put oil in that one, and it went to 150. So I'm not too worried about the compression test. Um, I did notice that every single one of the spark plugs was gapped wrong. They were all gapped at 0 0.05 when they're supposed to be 0 0.035. So I thought that was a little weird. Um... So I gapped them all correctly and put them all back in, torqued them down, everything's good with that. But that was a little annoying. Um, but like I said, with the engine being the way it is, it is what it is. But what I went ahead and did was, is I did change the oil and I put some, like, I don't remember what it's called. It's like some kind of thing to help seal everything and get everything going. And I'm hoping that it works. Um, but I went ahead and poured that in the oil as well. The oil smelled like gasoline, so that's why that's the main reason why I changed it because I didn't want that smell anymore. Um, but while I was messing around, I saw this. Um, and if you remember from any of the previous videos that I've mentioned, or the previous, I think, two videos, the oil pressure gauge reads zero. So my whole plan was to get an oil gauge tester and everything to test to make sure that the oil gauge was like that and everything. Cause I was super worried that the oil pump wasn't working or something was clogged. Um, yeah, it turns out that the end of this was just snapped. All right, sorry about that. My dog's going a little crazy. They're eating and he should be eating, but the end of this was just snapped. So I went ahead and bought a new one, replaced it, got it in there and everything. And it's working. The oil pressure is working great now. And like I said, I changed the oil and everything. So I'm hoping that all works. I've been doing quite a bit off camera just because it's kind of hard for me to set up the camera and everything. I'm trying to figure that out. And also a lot of it's just like tiny little detail stuff that isn't really exciting. Um, but I'm trying to bring a little bit more. Um, all this didn't do anything. It still runs exactly the same. Um, which is really weird because when I changed the oil and I changed the oil pressure and everything like that, like I did all that stuff, when I turn it on, it initially, for the first like maybe five seconds or so, it runs beautifully and then it just starts running bad again. So I don't really know what that is. It's also smoking a little bit now, but it's like clear, it's kind of clear smoke. Um, so I don't know if it's just getting some of the gunk out that was in there or what it is, but um, right now, I, I have the throttle body completely taken apart and everything because I'm I'm working on that trying to clean it and trying to figure out the different parts of it if they work or not because I know the idle con air control um, I think that's what it's called whatever it's called but that one it won't push in and I don't know if it's supposed to push in or it won't push in or pull out so I'm wondering if it's supposed to do that or if it spins like how it works so I need to google that and make sure because if it's supposed to go in then it's broken which would explain why it's dying. Um, so I'm going to try and get that. That's like a $30 part though. So I'm not too worried about if that one's not working because $30 is not, it's better than replacing the engine. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and Google it if it's supposed to be a, a press or if you can pull or like how it works. But 
There's that one. Also the um, the fuel one. I can't remember what it's called. The fuel like module or whatever on the throttle body. It's like the top of it looks like it came off and they tried to, the previous people tried to re-glue it on. So I might just buy a new one of those just cause. Um, but I did think that was kind of weird. And then the the other one looks fine. The um, the throttle, the, well actually no, I take that back. The throttle positioning sensor, that one, the throttle part of it, the like, it, cause it's a butterfly valve and everything. The butterfly valve that turns the actual module is rusted. I don't know how that happened, but I'm hoping that the actual module is okay. I'm not too worried about that because when I press on the gas and it changes the throttle, it puts in the proper amount of fuel and like it runs perfectly at RPMs. And so I'm not too worried about it unless for some reason when it's shut, it's not saying that it's properly idling. Um, to me, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but I guess, I guess worst case scenario, if it turns to that, I'll take it off. But that one, so I have the throttle body completely off because the air one is a pain to get to. So I just took it off. But if, if worst comes to worst and I end up getting a new one and everything that doesn't fix it, I might look at the other two. Both of the other two are, the, are way easier to get off of the actual housing rather than the other ones. So I'm not too worried about those two. But that's all that I have time for in this video just because um, I've already been talking seven minutes long. The first two was like 10 minutes long. This video is probably going to be like 25 minutes. Um, and I'm just going to make it all one video because... I don't like separating videos. The only reason I separated the one before this is because it's, it, I feel like it could have been separated. Actually, I might not have even separated. I haven't edited that one yet. So I don't know if I've actually separated it or not. Um, I might just leave it all together. But this one I'm definitely gonna leave all together. It's just gonna be a really long video. But I got all this situated. Um, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, you know, I plan on trying to get this going a lot better um, I'm, I'm hoping that I can have it running good before the end of the year it's August right now so I'm hoping in December it can be running good but I just gotta slowly tweak on it and see what it is it's running bad I do know that when I get done here I'm about to run to the store and put premium gas in it because I'm hoping that because premium gas has a lot of like detergents and stuff like that in it depending on the one you go to so I'm really hoping that I can get premium gas and that'll help flush out the system but that's all I got for this video so I will see you guys in the next video I don't know what I'm gonna be doing but I'll see you then um, thanks for watching bye